doesn't have to be fancy, and you don't have to jump. Big arm circles. And then you got forward lunge touchdowns, alternating. Step into the front. Clap your arms over your head if you've got it there. I'll take it. This five. It's about three. Three. Four. Four. Last one. And then go side to side. Leading with the bent leg, stay behind with the straight leg. Arms over your head. We have three. Three. Four. Four. Five. Five. Going into mountain climbers. Five on each side. Go ahead and jump. Two. Two. Three. Three. Four, four, five, straight legs right outside your hands. And cross under. Five each side. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Rolling back. Starting last and low. Roll back. Give me the end. Tap your toes over your head. And you're coming into all fours position. Give me big circles. Okay, so I kind of lost 
everything. Losing my mind here. Okay, so here's what's happening. So you're going to do what I call um, a standing clean and press, and it's going to look like this. I would love for you to start off with like medium weights, but you're going to start by just kind of dipping your hips just a little bit, bringing it up on top of the shoulders, and then pressing it up over your head, and then you're going to drop it all the way down again. So if this move here doesn't make any sense to you, because all you're doing is relevating, relevating up onto the toes and lifting up and then pressing up overhead. If that move makes no sense to you, then you're just going to give me a non-swinging, hopefully, squat curl press. All right, so medium to heavy weights with that one. The second one is overhead presses, just alternating just like this, alternating over your head. You might need to switch weights off. You might want to try the first round out, see how it feels. But all you're doing is alternating over your head, just like that, okay? One at a time, then you're going to lean forward into a forward bend. And I know you're going to need heavier weights for that, so make sure you make concession for that whole thing. Um, or a band, you can also use a band, you just kind of switch it up and just keep moving it that way, okay? So we're going to try and do, let's go 10 reps, and we're going to make our time two minutes each, okay? Um, so we should be able to move through this pretty quickly. I might change the number, but we'll see. We might get into rotations. We'll see what happens. All right, so on your marks, two minutes, 10 reps of everything, set, and go. And remember, you're going to start with just like a simple squat curl press motion. If you don't know how to do it over your head, you're going to do that 10 times. There's two. I'll count to the first set with you. Three. So I'm sure we do much rather than music, right? Five, good, six, medium to heavy, if you've got it here. Remember, I'm only here for demonstration purposes. All right, I don't want to overdo it. I want to say that's eight. I don't know, I can't count, right? Nine, and then 10, and alternating 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, now we're feeling it, two. Even if you're light on that, you're really feeling something. And then alternate the forward bend. Three, four, and this is where you want to heavy up if you really feel you need to. Seven, eight, nine, and 10. Nice. We have one more minute, so we can fit in probably another round. Two, move it to 10. Three, stay true to yourself. Four, I'm gonna take the bend out of that. Focus on the upper body. Five, six, seven, eight. You don't know what on that one. Nine. Here comes those overhead presses. Ten. Ten. Nine. Eight. Woo. Seven. Keep going. Six. Five. We have 20 seconds. Four. Three. Two, one, forward bend, alternating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Look at that. Perfect timing, yes? All right, because that's time. So let's treat ourselves to a one minute challenge. So. Let's lay down onto our backs, and we're going to do a Turkish get up um, from the right side. Let's make our number five on each side for one minute. I promise to play music as much as I can for the rest of this. So you're going to punch down, your arm's going to come down 90 degree opposite side, just like you're doing a chest press. And you just go to simply lift up and then. Roll back again, lift up, and then roll back. All right, five reps. All we're going to do is only our right side. That is it for one minute. Go all the way up and roll all the way down. All the way up. <laughs> that right side, don't switch it out. Roll up. And roll down. Roll up. And roll down. Yeah, stay on 
that one side to make a huge difference, but we're going to stick with it. You have like 30 seconds. A little less than. All the way up. You're punching that weight all the way up to the sky. So we're going to squeeze and curl up and press overhead and keep squeezing and curling up and all the way down again. Keep breathing and keep going. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so in full disclosure, I accidentally did not press the button and then I had to press it again. All right, so we're back onto our feet and we're going to do a, a, a squat curl press, the clean and press over our heads again. Moving into round two, this time with some music. On your marks, get set, and go. <laughs>
to do one more rotation of the standing ones. Remember, if you are able to heavy up here, I highly recommend it. So this is going to be our last rotation. And then the last one's kind of going to be a doozy. The next set coming up. So we're going to try and make the best of it here. All right. On your marks. Two minutes. Still 10 reps. We should probably get in two good rounds. Set and go. <laughs> next one we're going to do um oh if you guys have like a way to have to sit down you don't have to but i would like to for you to go for a heavy seated row which is going to look like this so you got to reach and pull up just like that okay so there's that and then um your other one's gonna be like, I call this a dumbbell burpee um, because that's what it is. <laughs> I have no other explanation other than that. But it's like a regular burpee and I'm gonna have to walk these out because of my knee right now. But you can jump if you want, but you're walking out just like this, giving yourself a burpee and then you're gonna come up or jump and then move into an overhead press, all right? So you can jump, do it from the knees, come back up, and then go into a squat crawl press. So you see how much time that takes? So we're gonna do five of those. So what you're gonna do is start with double arm pulleys from the bench, like such. You're gonna reach and pull like this, then, you're going to lay down onto the ground with your feet elevated onto the bench. One of your heavy dumbbells, you're not going to be quizzed on this. I know this is a lot. We're going to try three exercises for the first set. See how it goes. It might be all we have time for. We're going to do pullovers here, and then you're going to come up to your feet very gently, and then do these guys with a push-up, and then bring it up. Push-up. Okay? We're going to try. On your marks. Two minutes, five reps of everything. 
which means you guys can go really, really heavy. Leaving the music off for this first round. On your marks. Woo. Double arm rows coming up first. Get set and go. As heavy as you can with good form. You can tap to the ground, pull the elbows up behind the back, reach out and tap. Three, four, and five. Lay onto the back for pullovers. I have to move a little bit slower here. Elbows, reach, reach. I got four, and I got five. You gotta come up gently for those five burpees. Walking or jumping back. Move into that push up five times. One. Two. Oh, you guys are scaring me. Three. Woo! Feeling the love on that. Four. Yeah. We have like a minute left, unfortunately. And then there's five. Starting over again, double arm rows. Yes, feel the love on that. Pull, tap, and pull. 30 seconds. Two, three, four, five. Onto your back. You can see most of the work is in getting up and getting down. Overhead or pullovers. You can use as heavy weights as you can muster here or not. Five times. You can use two weights there. You know the drill. Five, four, three, two, and time. Feeling the love on that. We're going to do one more round of that. But what we're going to do is focus on just the forward bend rows. And we're going to take the pullovers out of that. So for two minutes, we're still going to do five reps. But we're just going to focus on the rows and then the burpees with the push-up and the squat curl press. All right, sounds like a plan. Yes, so let's sit our butts down onto our thingamajig. Two minutes. Woo! You're not sweating. I'm sweating for you. Double arm rows on your marks. Set and go. So that way we're not up and down, up and down. Reaching for right outside the feet, pull the elbows up, three, four, and then five. And then all you have to do is stand, turn in towards your dumbbells, and then give yourself five of these guys. Round it up. Don't cheat yourself, there's two. Remember, you can walk these out. Here's five. You can walk up, up, bend your knees, and then lift over your head. And then going back again, double arm rows. Those are the only two exercises we're doing. So remember reaching and pulling. I'm gonna get this music on the way out. Almost done.
Hello. All right. So you can see. Woo! You have one more set in you. <laughs> so I didn't have Adam, but that one ain't no joke. So let's give a little bit of a rest. First of all, give yourselves a round of applause. That was kind of was kind of a lot. I'm thinking if I were to do this again, I would make the second set, the first set, and then move along with it that way. But it's good to know if we have stamina at the very end to help us help us through. So you're gonna have a seat onto the ground. And you're gonna start with just folding your feet in. Soles of the feet are touching together. Moving into a forward bend. And breathe. Long, slow, deep breath. And then you're gonna give me, um, I guess we call this the mermaid. Two bent knees, one in front of the other, or one behind the other. And you're gonna drop down to the elbow on the easy side. Reach your arm up over your head. Reach and stretch. And then you're going to come up and move towards the more difficult side. Maybe it feels impossible. I know to me it's just a little bit of a struggle there. I'm on the struggle bus with that one. And lift up and reach over. And then gently sort of side up. So you're going to do mermaid with your feet facing in the other direction, just like this. And then first go to the easy side so we can feel really good about ourselves. <laughs> and then lift up and try to place your elbow down close to the ground. If not, you can just kind of walk, spider walk your fingertips and then reach over with the opposite hand towards the sky. Then you're going to come back to the center, drop the elbows back behind you. We're going to have to do this on to the other side because I forgot. And you just got to focus on dropping that knee that is behind the front leg. Think about dropping that knee that's behind that front leg. And then you're just going to lift up and then we're going to mermaid in the other direction and then do the stretch that we forgot. Lean back onto the elbows. Try to keep that Back knee grounded, stretching through the front part of that thigh. A little bit of the hip flexor there too. And just breathing. So we're gonna come up into all fours position. We're gonna go right into the old standby. And thread your arm through. Just really relax into that stretch. So tomorrow, if you're joining me, we'll have more of the same, focusing on the upper body until I have an MRI done on my knee, so we know what's going on with it. And then, I'm gonna switch sides out. Same thing on the other side. Really feel a gentle stretch through that shoulder. And through the neck if you can manage to get it there. And then, you're gonna lift up into all fours position, curl the toes under, move yourself into a down dog. So press the big heel, pull the tailbone up and back. Just gonna rock side to side. Nice. And then alternating heel presses on either side. Just like that. Walk your hands and your feet together so that you're into a forward bend. A gentle forward bend. You can do a knuckle drag or call it an elephant trunk swing, just from side to side, like such. Good. You know, pull yourself up one vertebra at a time, all the way up into standing. Then, when you come up, I want you to lift up, feel the space, palms together, drop the thumbs out of your heart. And give a nice exhale and release. Nice job, you guys. I will see you again tomorrow if all goes well and Zoom cooperates. <laughs> Thank you, guys.